you're interested in bullet journaling, but you want to stay in your big happy planner. This planner does have a really ways to track in your bullet journal. If you track moods or gratitude, affirmations, habit tracking, self-care, this is for a week right here. So you would use this like up here is a little check-in for your feelings and it has a, a spot for each day of the week down the left. There's an a.m., midday, and then a p.m. circle for you to draw in how you're feeling, happy, content, sad, tired, or angry. You can make these whatever you want. I just wrote these as an example. And then right here, I put a space in case you would like to tally up how many of each one you had for the week. One thing about keeping track like this, you are at an advantage to see if there's some kind of pattern. Let's say you start feeling a symptom of some kind that you feel like it's new. Um, this really helps, or something like this, to spot when that change happened. It, it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. What I did was, this is a self-love celebration. It's a self-love daily log of a task for each day. And then the stickers kind of go along with the kind of task. So for example, put on favorite dance music and dance. That's the activity for Tuesday. Wednesday, put on comfy, cozy clothes and chill out. This could be for any amount of time. If you have your schedule written somewhere else and you have allotted time for self-love, you can go into this page and see what activity you had designated for today. So that's kind of how I pictured this working as a guide to help you sometimes when we're going through our day and we decide we need a little self-love time or it's time according to our schedule that we've made up, this just gives you right on the spot helpful ideas for self-love that you know are valuable to you. And then in the middle, I just put this, take time to make your soul happy. I grabbed these stickers from different Happy Planner sticker books. This layout was a dashboard layout. If you want to see what it looks like before I decorated, it looked like this. So it has a nice size box for each day. And then up here is a box. You can write something. This is where I made the habit tracker for feelings up here. Also over here on the left, down at the bottom, this is, looks like this. So you have this left side column here and then a dot grid in this space. So since I had already written these notes up here, I put a, a quote that I love from one of the sticker books. And then over here are a couple habit tracking boxes. Well, I made them into habit tracking boxes, but these are for daily reflection, journal, meditation, and mindful breathing, communication, responding. So this is a to-do space to buy. So like when you think of things you need to buy, you just jot them here as you think of them. When you are finding yourself with time to take care of these things, they're all written out for you and organized same thing with things you have to remember for the week. Kept the focal point down the center with the stickers and then tied it all together with stickers over here. And again, these are all happy planner stickers. This is a daily log page. I really, really like this one. So again, a bullet journal style, daily log. This was just fun lettering. So if you're someone that likes to doodle or letter, this is something just like while watching a show on TV, I happen to grab this in my markers and, you know, that's something that you could do if you're just chilling or relaxing. You have a design that you really took your time to do and it just feels good every time you look at it. So this is for the day 
your food, your movement, your connections. And this, I just love this sticker. So this is if you have to contact somebody or make a call and you don't want to forget, make an appointment, that can be here, to do's here, and remember. Maybe down here, you want to put things that you want to make sure move to the next day in your planner. Again, this I used for a daily log. This is not a dashboard page. You could turn a dashboard page into that, but this was actually, I think it was, yeah, ARC brand, which is Staples brand. So it's just one of their journal pages. It looked like this when it was blank. It had lines here, a blank box, a blank box here, date, and then a blank, a bank, a blank box up here. So yeah. Okay. I think I have a couple more in my other big planner that I brought over here to show you. I love this one. Don't see too many people using this style. Happy planner. This was a bound and partially eaten by Coda. But this is a bound, big, happy planner. I love this design so much. I love the colors and the inside cover. So this one I like to use for making samples. So the, the format of this one is a vertical. Oh, let's see what we have in here. Okay, this one was pretty busy. We have here a full week of bullet journal style. There's a space for an affirmation, your goal of the day, your three top to-dos, and then you can color in the circles as you do these, and set an intention for clarity, vitality, and inner peace. Feel the impact. That is an activity with nothing to really write, except this is just to make sure you take the chance to set this intention. And you can put any intention you want. These are all the same. And then there's a small circle in there to color in when you take the time to set this intention. And then this is a morning rituals checklist as sort of like a reminder, meditate, make bed, journal, read, self-care. You, you can put anything you want in yours. And then there's a circle for each one to color in. The circle part is nice because I know it's you looking at your journal probably, but it's some kind of accountability. It gives you accountability, gives you accomplishment. You see how much you have accomplished. And these are all things that are so good for mental health and making you feel great and strong and powerful and confident and all those wonderful things. Okay, I know what I did here. So celebrate the small victories, it says down here. And this was just, this is actually quite flexible. I'm, I was just showing you here, you could put, give yourself a few lines at the top if you are someone that likes to narrow down that to-do list to your three top items that must get done that day. This gives you some room to write what you want to do for the afternoon or for work. I put this different words here so you could see the different ways to use it. And then evening, what you want to get done or family activities or self-care. These can be different each day. They don't have to be the same. Some people like to continue this weekday um, routine on the weekends, but that's up to you. I wanted it to look a little different over here, so I knew that this is the weekend. It's all up to you. I hope that gave you some ideas and got the wheel going. There's lots of ways these can be used. If you're looking for more ideas for something specific, please let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. If it's something that I can help with, I definitely will. 
Take good care. Bye-bye. Namaste.